So we're going to drive you around the city. Um, we're going to show you neighborhoods like the French Quarter, the Marigny, um, up to go, we're going to go up to the Treme, and we take you up through down through the Warehouse District, the Central Business District, and then up to the Garden District, and then we'll make our way back. And in the meantime, while we're doing that, we're going to show you clips on the movie screens in front of you um, while we're at the actual locations where those movies were shot. And John's going to tell you all about filmmaking, and I'm going to tell you a little bit about city history as well. So you get a really nice rounded tour, and hopefully we'll show you some areas of the city that you've never seen before and maybe inspire you to get out and do some things around our city. For Michelle Ray and her husband Jonathan, movies are a way of life. The Connecticut couple, like countless filmmakers, have found their calling in New Orleans, known as the Big Easy, the Crescent City, and now Hollywood South. They recently did a survey amongst cast and crew members of movie sets, and we were voted the best place in America to film a movie. So we're going to have a huge, huge year. And we just got the dollar amounts in from last year, brought in $1.3 billion for the state of Louisiana over a course of 111 projects. Right now we're in the middle of four projects. Uh, we have a movie called Now You See Me uh, with Morgan Freeman, Woody Harrelson, Mark Ruffalo, and Jesse Eisenberg. Uh, Will Ferrell is doing his new movie with Zach Galifianakis called Dogfight. It's about these rival Southern politicians. And that movie is all set in North Carolina. And two TV shows, HBO's Treme, and the last thing filming is a new, brand new show for the USA Network called Common Law, which will be on the USA Network this summer, which I'll be appearing in every episode, so you guys are going to have to watch that. And then in just a couple weeks, we're going to start the new Quentin Tarantino movie, uh, the new Tom Cruise movie, uh, Stallone and Schwarzenegger are starting a movie, and then Stephanie Meyer, the lady who wrote the Twilight series, she's starting her, her new series down here called The Host. So we're going to have a big, big year here in New Orleans. It's a really good way for maybe even people who've never seen the city before to um, relate to the city. I mean, if you see something on TV that you might have a certain image in your mind of what the French Quarter or New Orleans looks like, to be able to actually see that in person kind of really helps connect people in a way that maybe is a little bit different than you might expect. Why are you on the tour today? Oh, I just have a real love for movies. Um, absolutely, uh, absolutely love doing that more than anything else. Is spending time just in front of the screen. And I uh, didn't know anything about the fact that New Orleans had such a movie base to it. Um, and these people uh, had the tour available to us, and I saw that it was a movie tour. I jumped all over that, booked it as fast as I could. Uh, actually, it's been a pretty fantastic response, yeah. honestly, and and we're really happy about that. With two-hour tours twice a day, the popularity of this trip through the city's movie past, present, and future mirrors Louisiana's success in attracting TV shows, independent films, and blockbusters to the Big Easy. The big building is Second Line Stages. And this right up here is the only independently owned green movie studio in the country. The majority of the movie, The Green Lantern, was actually filmed inside this building off to your right here. So if anybody, when you watch it next time, at one point they're supposed to be on a different planet. They're not on a different planet. They're just inside the building off to your right. I think people are afraid of this little park right here. Uh, because every time they see it in a movie, there's a dead body floating in it. And it happens in three movies. As long as you're here, let's see if you can make it. Oh, man, yeah, hello, Freddy. Yeah, locals haven't totally fallen in love with their new movie culture uh, because, as you'll see, when you see a TV show or a movie, they take up a lot of space. Uh, they do get in the way. We have a small city with very limited parking, um, and locals haven't totally fallen in love with it just quite yet. Some people think it's a nuisance, but some people, people think it's amazing, you know, seeing our, you know, our city on the silver screen all the time. Do you get locals on the tour? All the time, yeah. Yeah, people are really starting to love it, and um, yeah, there's a lot of, I mean, everybody loves movies, and that's the beautiful thing about it. And that's why we cover lots of old movies, new movies, good movies, bad movies, and everything in between, kind of. The most popular, I'd say, you know, Easy Rider Cemetery, mm -hmm. and then, of course, Benjamin Buttons. Mm -hmm. They always want to see the Benjamin Buttons house, but Easy Rider's a, a big one. Interview with the vampire scenes as well. Uh, and so hopefully in the future it'll change, we'll have a lot of new movies to add to the tour, uh, which is always fun because we're always adding new stuff all the time. Some of the biggest stars in the world call New Orleans home. It's full time for some. For others, it's just a few weeks each year. Brad Pitt's at age 50. No more acting. It's all done. No, he's going to produce and direct. So get your Brad Pitt while you can. Uh, he was just here a few months ago doing a big gangster movie called Kogan's Trade. He does own property. And it's this little house coming up on your left here uh, behind these horse ties. And by little, he means big. Uh, it looks little for me. <laughs> it's the gray building with the dark green doors that we're directly next to here. <laughs> and I'd say they're here maybe two weekends out of the year. And you'll know they're here because there'll be cameramen lined up across the street. There'll be helicopters flying above. Mm -hmm. And with all these celebrities running around town, you'd think we'd have paparazzi all the time, but we don't. The only time we ever have paparazzi is when Brad Pitt's here with his girlfriend and their 27 children. That's the only time we ever have paparazzi. That poor family. 
And they just filmed a great movie here uh, recently called Abraham Lincoln Vampire Hunter. And they spent about $100 million making this movie, so it should be a beautiful movie that comes out in June. So check that out. If a common interest is the secret to a good marriage, then these two are well suited. But they don't always agree. Oh, I think the greatest movie ever filmed here at the moment, it's got to be Runaway Jury. Classic John Grisham, you know, amazing actors, you know, Jeremy Piven, Dustin Hoffman, Gene Hackman, Rachel Weisz, John Cusack. Great cast, well, well written and well acted out. I think it's a beautiful movie. And the city's the star of it. Yeah, but only the time will tell though. We'll see what happens in the next couple of years. Well, I'm going to have to say Ray. I really love Ray because it really portrays the life and time of Ray Charles. I think Jamie Foxx does an amazing job as the actor. I mean, he played most of the piano parts in there himself. He won an Oscar for that role. I just think it's really, really well done. And I personally, as a music lover, I just think it's a beautiful story. This is my last day here, and i got to tell you, it was everything I expected. Oh, good. Well, glad we got you on. Well, yeah, it worked thank, out. You so much. thank you. Thank you very much. My pleasure. God Have bless. a great day, sir. To learn more about New Orleans movie tours, go to nolamovies.com. In New Orleans, for Newsocracy, I'm Jim Albritton reporting.